Hello everybody, it is Average Jack here and uh, today I have a new bike to show you guys. This right here is a Lexmoto Arrow 125. As you can see, 125 engine right there. Lovely exhaust. And uh, I got this thanks to uh, Ron. I'll, uh, I'll link his uh, website and uh, YouTube channel in the description below. But I've put a new R plate on this, as you can see there. And uh, I've also, where is it? There's the dust caps I've replaced. Nice little smiley face ones. Yeah, lovely to ride. Um, very good on fuel. Big tank, very big tank. Uh, not sure how what liter it is, but it's it's a very big tank. It holds quite a lot of fuel, much more than the uh, Kimco Agility One Two Five that I had. I uh, traded that in for this. Um, it's a very nice bike. I, I've had fun riding it so far, and uh, I was thinking perhaps maybe, I'm not sure of the legality of it, but I was thinking about two uh, very thin strips of black tape, just as a cross across the. Uh, the headlight there but yeah i'll be doing that at some point soon and uh let's hear how it sounds so the keys this is going to be a raw footage video because it's just what i like to do really <laughs> no point in not showing you how everything works okay this is going to be slightly difficult to do one hand i don't think it's going to start without the clutch being pulled in oh no, no, no. there we go Nice sound to it. Very nice sound. It's very different riding a um, a geared bike compared to a bike that isn't geared. There's the neutral light right there. Those there tell you which gear you're in. Rev counter, well, rev gauge, um, fuel gauge, speedometer. Well, tachometer's there. Speedometer's there. Kill switch. Uh, uh, main main beam. Uh, well, not main beam. Main dipped. Side light dipped. And off. And that's the starter right there. That's the uh, passing light. That's the full beam. That's hazards. They come with hazards, as you can see. There is a hazards light. They're both both blinking on the uh, indicators. Uh, nice horn. <laughs> uh, manual choke. So uh, that's 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 going to be. That's good. That's all right. I like the manual choke, but obviously it's a little bit more temperamental than the automatic chokes turn off the bike before I wind up the neighbours. <laughs> uh, yeah, he fitted the new, some new wing mirrors on there, nice wide ones, so I get a full view. As you can see, my shoulder is just there. So rather than looking directly at your shoulder, like I did on the Kimco, you can see right past it. Same with this one here. And uh, yeah, no, really good bike. I'm getting along with it. This is my second day riding it now. Went on a long drive back from uh, Rookley to ride, which is quite a stretch considering I haven't really ridden a manual before, but that's that's how I learned. You've got to learn the hard way with these things. Um, but yeah, lovely bike. Shout out to Ron for that. Um, I'll definitely link his social media, etc., his Facebook, his um, website, and his YouTube. Um, he has plenty of bikes for sale. He always does. Very good guy. Nice chap. Um, will definitely do a brilliant deal. So... Make sure you go check his bikes out, show him some love, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little raw video here. Uh, peace. <laughs>